Hi there, Viera. Welcome back for more Let's Play Amnesia Dark Descent. Alright, uh, where were we last time? Mm. Oh, yeah. The machine room key. Yes. But I found the machine room key. Now, let us go back to the machine room, guys. Fortunately, nothing had changed here. Well, not yet at least. This is the shadow has got a little sloppy. Or may he have killed up. He had realized how cool Daniel is. How unbeatable he is. Yeah. Oops, oops, oops. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You cannot beat Daniel. Yes. You cannot beat the amnesia guy. Okay, let's open this door. He flew through the Book of Monarchs, looking for etchings and counted. Nine different kings from all over. Europe had been depicted with an orb resting in their hand. Oh, interesting. Okay, this is a new freaking area, so let us be careful, okay? Whoa, 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 Danny, why are you going crazy? It's not dark, okay? Hmm, what do we have here? Some blueprints of the machinery. Oh, what we have here? Okay, pressure. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Hmm. Anyway, let's read. 5th of July, 1839. Ah, excellent. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Sad. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Oh, you feel responsible? I guess who killed him? Yes, Alexander. The Baron shithead. Hey, what the hell is this for? I'm not sure. I'm playing with the controls now. What we have here? Two in the boxes. Excellent. Valve? No. Hmm. It's not so scary down here as I expected. Just machine parts and machine shit and pipes and loads of stuff line this up more blueprints 14th of July 1830 ah wonderful I've read every book haunted I Ooh. On the while rich in legend and hearsay my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance today I got one which differed greatly from the others from a baron in Prussia. Ah, wonderful. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. Ah. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. Oh, so there we While are. being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives 
to help me sleep. Oh yeah, I recommend you said this. It's called alcohol. It's a lot better. Uh, note that these are only two spare rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Ah, great. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case all three would crack again. Wonderful. So it seems we have to go into storage room and find some, I don't know, machine rods or what the hell is that? Excellent. Well, so there's nothing else in here. Great, I... Ah, uh, great. I need some... What he said? Machine rods or something like that? Ah, wonderful. Guess we're gonna need items. So, we are here for what? For nothing? This could get better and better. Uh, let me guess. Third one? Of July, yes, I knew it. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Huh? Limbs scattered, head split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? Possible. How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. Oh. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. Oh, is that a threat? Wow. Dan is becoming such a badass when his life is at stake. Let's line on this place a bit. Excellent. Now, let's see. Hmm. Well, there's nothing else except this giant machinery and this lever. And that's what? The machine needs some work. They are missing cogwheels to be fitted. Presuming this is where you put... Yeah, there's nothing in the burner for it to ignite. Well, what, what else can we put in a burner? Yes, coal! Exactly! Ooh, we have here. There's no oil. Ah! Have I refilled it? Yes, a bit. Okay, let's put some coal. I believe, uh, yeah, if we think logically, this is the only way to light up a burner. So, yeah. I'm doing this. Okay, wonderful. Okay. Come on, Daniel. That's it. Come on. Let's make a three points. Uh -huh. Ah, damn it. Come on, Daniel. Three points. Just like basketball. Yes. Come on. Three points. Oh, yes. The bird is now full of coal. Guess what? Now, close this. Burn this. Excellent. Excellent. It's working now. No. Uh, uh, by the way, it's possible that I shall make only two videos instead of four or three videos instead of four. Anyway, it'll not be four videos because I'm too damn busy. Okay, let's see. The car wheel does not fit. Ah, wonderful. Is there any other car wheels? What the hell can I? Ooh! Cogwheel, yes. Found one. Guess what? I freaking found one. Okay, this one cogwheel. Probably does not fit in this box. How about this box? No? Well, it does fit in this one. Okay, which one do you fit in? Okay, it fits in this one. I need another cogwheel. Just one more. And I presume the machine is, it is not done yet. Ooh, another one. Excellent. We're almost done. Okay, this is the last cockwheel and uh, then we shall go back and find whatever we need to find. 
machine rods or whatever it's called. Excellent! The machine is full of gears now. Let's work. Still needs to work before it will run. Yeah, I know. The machine rods and the pressure thingy or whatever it's called. Man, why the... <laughs> Why does Elveris have to be so freaking complicated? Stupid Elveris. Okay, let's get out of here. We need to go into the study room, right? Yeah, I believe so. Let's go in the freaking study room. Um, if only I can remember, what the heck is the study room? Right? Right? No, I doubt I've been here before. Definitely not been here before. Yes, new area. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, excellent. For now. There regarding the discovery of an orb. To my most trusted student and friend, uh, Johan Wire. The most recovery thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Helidromos described described it in the Hortus Conclusus. It, it was uh, as it was told about an underground Mephratic temple crowned with the Anarchy artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cup to hands and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was standing in a nearby village called Alstadt, investigating one of the antiquated trails when I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. Ah, crap. You can't read this. I shall read it, you know, fast. Okay. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Ah, there's a lot of reading. Okay. Alps. Okay. So that's okay. Holy cry. Okay. Your friend, the matter, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Oh, the name Agrippa again. Agrippa must be very important in this game. We heard his name many times. Okay, what about this room? So dark in here. By the way, it is probable that I shall not make this video HD again. Why? Because I uh, guess what? It takes me freaking ages. And I don't have time, the luxury or the time to. You know, I have so much time at my disposal, so yeah, I shall not save the video HD anymore. Perhaps, I'm not sure. I shall try another thing. Oh, blood. Excellent. Oh, one out. Let's see what you have to offer. Ah, shit! Sadistic bastard, he killed a puppy. <laughs> Sadistic bitch. 